Oh, hey. In this segment, we'll look at how to access a Wi-Fi internet signal on an Apple iPhone or iPod Touch. While one is a phone and one isn't, both can access the internet with their built-in Wi-Fi capability. For starters, make sure your device is turned on using this little power button. Then press the home button, which gives you a number of options on the screen. Tap the settings button, and you'll see a choice for Wi-Fi. Tap the Wi-Fi bar, and you'll go to a screen with an on-off switch. If Wi-Fi is set to off, tap the off button to turn it on. In a few moments, the screen will show you the available networks. Tap the one that says Optimum Wi-Fi, and when you're connected to the Optimum Network, a check mark will appear. The Wi-Fi icon will appear in your phone's status bar at the top of the screen when it's connected to a Wi-Fi network. It shows connection strength as well, so the more bars you see, the stronger your connection. After you've connected to the Optimum Wi-Fi network, launch the Safari browser from your home page. This will bring you to the Optimum Wi-Fi login page. Enter your Optimum ID and password. And for the sake of this demonstration, I'll put in Optimum user, because that's what I am. Then your password. Keep it private. And make sure the checkbox next to the Terms of Service Agreement is checked. And then sign in. You'll be taken to an Optimum.net welcome screen. And then you're ready to use the Internet. Once you've connected manually to a Wi-Fi network, your iPhone or iPod Touch will automatically join it whenever that network is in range.